Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Sandra Bianco Photography and in collaboration with Greater Than Gatsby. I'm going to be showing you a short tutorial today on editing with Flawless Skin Blend in the Portrait Retouch Collection. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now the very first thing you want to do, because we're going to be editing in quick mask mode, the very first thing that you want to check is if you go down to your toolbar, wherever that may be, but it's um, just past your black and white, your brushes here, your background colors, you'll see a little icon and that says edit in quick mask mode. I want you to first double click that. And when you double click that, you're going to get this pop-up box and you need to make sure that you are selected on the selection that says selected areas. Once you just click on that, don't worry about the color and opacity of that. Um, but once you're clicked on that, you're just going to hit OK. That's all you need to do. Once you do that the first time, it's going to go ahead and save that. So you don't have to worry about it ever again. And when you're editing in quick mask mode now, you'll just be able to hit Q when I prompt you to do that throughout this workflow. So we're going to go ahead and get started on gorgeous Calissa here. So I'm just going to go ahead and play Flawless Skin Blend. And I'm going to start with my Flawless Blend. It defaults to that. What I'm going to do is grab my lasso tool and I'm just going to um, draw around where I'm wanting to blend the tones and correct. From here I'm going to hit Q, which now you'll see it's giving me my selection of my quick mask. Then I'm going to go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to set my pixels to where I see this feathering out. So if I take this all the way down, you're going to see that's a really hard edge. That's not what I want. I want a really nice soft edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that up. And that looks good about right there. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to hit Q again, Filter, and Gaussian Blur. And that gave me my correction. Now I'm going to, once I have my setting, I don't need to go and feather it all the time again. I'm just going to go ahead and go onto this side of the skin, make a selection. So I'm making Q, filter, Gaussian blur, Q, filter, Gaussian blur. If I was doing a smaller area here, I would hit Q, filter, and I'd go back into Gaussian blur and see how that's, that's feathering out quite a bit more because it's a smaller area. So I may just want to go and bring my pixels down a little bit so it doesn't go and um, have any fall off onto her eyes because we're not trying to pick up any toning from there. And I'll just hit OK, Q, Filter, Gaussian Blur. So you can just kind of keep going around like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a bigger section, Q, Filter, Gaussian Blur, Q, Filter, Gaussian Blur. Okay, so once that's done, you'll see there. The next thing I'm going to do is go into my Flawless Clone. And I'm just going to go ahead and go take a nice clean skin tone underneath where I want to correct. So I'm looking to correct just up in here a little bit. So I am just going to grab a skin tone that's a little bit lower and I'm just using my Option key and holding down and and tapping so I'm, I just selected a color by doing that and now I'm just going to go ahead and just brush under the eye a little bit. I'll go to the other side and do the same thing so I'm holding down my option key making a selection and then bringing that up and painting on and I'll keep doing that throughout my um, correction so I'm just going to hit option hold it down and bring that up. I just want to um, go ahead and clean up that little bit of um, dark that's in the crease of her eye there. And then I can go ahead and also use my clone for um, taking off the hair, any blemishes or anything like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and make another selection option to make my color selection and tap. And I'm just going to go ahead and go around this piece of hair here. So I'm just grabbing selections from the side. Again, option to Grab your color selection, and that's it.
just remember when you are um, using this the clone part to keep your opacity at the flow at about 25 and I like to keep my um, pass my brush opacity at a hundred percent on this so let's go ahead and take a look at this I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten it take a snapshot so I can show you a before and after so this is our before and this is our after before and after so you can see she's got a nice clean smooth skin tone um, here and all of her little blemishes are gone so once again remember the very first thing you want to do is check your quick mask mode by just double clicking that and then um, it should be to selected areas you're just gonna hit OK and you're gonna leave it at that for the remainder. There's no real reason to unselect the quick mask mode. Um, so then one now when you hit your cue, you should see your selection show up in red. And then it's just really easy to see where your feathering is on. And that's the why I do it the way I do it. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please visit www.greaterthangatsby.com. And this is in the new portrait retouch collection. Talk to you soon. Bye.